Coming up on Around Kern County, we're giving you an inside look at what it's like to work for the Sheriff's Office and how you can join the team. And the library wants you to have a safe Halloween, how you can attend their spectacular events when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. This week is a special episode because we're celebrating the one year anniversary of our show. Around Kern County was created to bring people closer to government by spotlighting the people and departments making our community a better place. Here's an inside look at what it's like to work for the Kern County Sheriff's Office. I just love what I do, um, helping, you know, being there to protect the community and protecting my brothers and sisters. And then I get to do it flying. Uh, it's amazing. I love it. There's really nothing like it until you do it. Being a public servant is something that you can't really explain to anybody. You have to do it. And As cliche as it sounds, um, I feel a, a calling to serve. And uh, again, th the fact I could do it in my, in my home community, in, in my home county. It makes you proud to come to work every day. Every day is new and every day is challenging. I grew up in a law enforcement military family and parents. And so I kind of always knew that I was going to be somewhat in that field. Kern County Sheriff's Office, how can I help you? This can be anything you want it to be. You can be a civilian, you can be in safety, you can be in the air, you can be on the streets, you can be search and rescue, you can be on a quad. I mean, this can be anything you want it to be. There's not very many places you can get paid to ride dirt bikes and meet a lot of cool people on the trails. Um, we have the flexibility to move around. I mean, there's just so much that it's offered to us working for the Kern County Sheriff's Department. I think it was a career opportunity. Um, it was something that I was always interested in and I didn't know if I had it in me, so I went for it. It's exciting, it's always something new. You're always learning new things. You're going to the shooting range, you're, you're qualifying with your firearms, um, you're training. There's so much opportunity here at the Sheriff's Office. You know, not just patrol, but there's corrections and we have air support unit, canine unit, detectives. Um, there's just, there's so much more to do than just, you know, a, again, a, than a regular uh, municipal police department. The pride you have putting on a uniform, serving the community that you live in, doing what's right, and standing up for those who don't have a voice sometimes. My dad always taught me that you can change it within, see what influence that you can have. I'm very grateful Woo. to live in Kern County. Um, the community here is great. Every time we go out, um, they want to say hi and talk to us and, and you know, genuinely thank you for your service. I grew up in Lamont and I'm glad that and happy to serve my community. I'm raising my family here. I'm just happy that I get to be part of something that I grew up in. If you live here and you care about where you live and you care about your streets and you want to do something, then do something here. This is where you should be. We want you here on our team and come work for us. We will show you the way. Have you checked your mail lately? If you're a Kern County property owner, you should have received your property tax bill. The first installment is due November 1st and the second installment is due February 1st. As a reminder, your bills become delinquent if they're not paid by December 12th and April 10th. You can pay your property taxes online or in person. Now, if you're wondering where your property taxes go, they're used to fund local agencies, such as schools. For more information, please visit the Kern County Treasurer Tax Collector's website. That link is there on your screen. Kern County Public Works is holding a series of household hazardous waste collection events throughout the month of October. On Saturday, October 15th, they're holding a collection event at the Tehachapi Recycling and Sanitary Landfill from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. You can also get rid of your waste on Saturday, October 22nd at the Boron Recycling and Sanitary Landfill and Saturday, October 29th at the Taft Recycling and Sanitary Landfill during those same times. You're encouraged to drop off anything that could be considered dangerous if lying around your home, such as cleaning products, pesticides, and other chemicals. As a reminder, hazardous waste can always be dropped off at Kern County's permanent special waste facilities 
located in Bakersfield, Mojave, and Ridgecrest. For more information about these collection events, please visit kernpublicworks.com. The Kern County Library wants our community to have a safe Halloween. They're holding a series of spooktacular events at their 22 branches across our county. From costume contests to themed crafts to trick-or-treating, all of these events are free to the public and designed to help residents enjoy the upcoming holiday safely. So Kern County Library is super excited to announce that all 22 locations are doing a safe, spectacular Halloween event um, pretty much throughout the county. We've got anywhere from trick-or-treat events to story times to spooky craft activities, all kinds of stuff going on. It's totally free. Everything is free for the public to join us at all of our branches. If you're looking for some ghoulish events, just make sure you visit the Kern County Library, any one of our 22 branches. These events will all take place the week leading up to Halloween. For more details, please visit kerncountylibrary.org. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. I'd like to end today's episode with a special thank you to our Kern County government television team. Without the hard work, dedication, and support of Tim Meyer, Tom Turner, and Gabe Pena, none of this would be possible. Thank you to the Dream Team for bringing Around Kern County to life. And as always, if you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.